they really show me by example um, about being brave enough to live your life. As creative director of Juice Beauty, Gwyneth worked on the 78-piece cosmetics line for the brand and named some of the products after her famous friends. Got some intel that these were named after some of your friends. Yeah. These in particular. So are these liquid <laughs> lipsticks? Are these glosses? They're liquid lipsticks. Oh, awesome. And like I'm wearing my own, this is Gwyneth that I'm wearing right now. Got to, got to. And um, who do we have here? We have Blythe. Blythe is okay. my mother. Yes. And then we have Apple for your daughter, mm -hmm. obviously. Chelsea. Handler, uh -huh. amazing. So these are all strong, beautiful women in your life. Yes. What advice have they given you? You know, I, I'm very fortunate to have girlfriends who are going through life in a similar way to I am. I mean, I have Cameron in there and mm -hmm. Drew and women who have such purity of heart and such vulnerability and I think that really reinforces your growth as a woman um, and I think you know it's not so much a piece of advice like you should do this or you should do that but I, they really show me by example um, about being brave enough to live your life and to make mistakes and to examine those mistakes and um, I'm very lucky. I have really nice girlfriends. I know they look like so much fun too. Yeah. Did you talk to Drew at all about your cosmetic line and working with her since she has, you know, her own? Yeah, I mean, she's just incredible. She's the most amazing entrepreneur and brain, and you know, I just adore her so much. And and it just says everything about her that even though she has her own line, she still let me name a, a lipstick after right? her. I bet there are so many different brands that want to work with you in terms of cosmetics or anything that has to do with skincare and and makeup but what made this the perfect match I don't know if you know this about me but I'm very committed to clean non-toxic living I mean and that includes having martinis as well so yeah. you know we got to keep things <laughs> balance. in balance but when I got pregnant with my daughter I thought you know skin is so absorbent and I was I was doing a movie and I was getting tons of makeup put on me every day mm -hmm. and I was doing photo shoots and I started to think well I'm sure what is in this stuff I'm sure it's safe I'm sure the industry is regulated and it's not no nope. I really think that it's every woman's right to be able to have amazing makeup that's really high performance that works all day long at the office or on the red carpet or however you need it to work mm -hmm but that's made with healthy ingredients that aren't harmful to you in any way, um, that are not full of plastics and silicones and endocrine disruptors and lead and all of the things, you know, animal glue and crushed up beetles and all of the things that they use in conventional makeup. You it's would be amazed. so crazy. Okay, so if you take something like this, mm -hmm. um, Normally, you'll, you'll get a red that's that red uh -huh. from crushed insects or lead. Lead is what makes lipstick red. Wow. So we did not want to use those. We're getting schooled here, by the way. Why is the schooling everyone? <laughs> this is awesome. This is phytopigments means pigment from natural. So it's fruit and vegetable mainly. Mm -hmm. And so this is all like beets and roses and they take millions of rose petals and crush them to get all the pigment out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and you generally don't see in a lot of all natural lines yeah. pigment that's this concentrated. Totally. So this is a, an amazing feat for the brand. For sure.